Good morning, student. Today we shall read the fourth chapter of the uh, geography of standard seven, that is air. Now, before going that, why our Earth is called a unique planet? Why our Earth is called a unique planet? Our Earth is called a unique planet and present because of the presence of atmosphere. And atmosphere makes it so that our Earth is called a unique planet. Now, what the word atmosphere comes from? Greek word. Atoms means vapor, atmosphere means atmosphere, atmosphere means atmosphere. This it is a derived from Greek word atoms and atmosphere, which means vapor atmosphere. So next we will go to composition of atmosphere. The atmosphere consists of a mixture of gases. The atmosphere is composed of mixture of gases in various proportions. Means not all the gases are same in same amount. We can say they are varying proportion. Its major constituent is nitrogen. Carbon dioxide, helium, argon, and hydrogen. Now, nitrogen is most constituent of the most uh, most abundant constitution of the atmosphere, and uh, this helps for the survival of plants, helps for survival of plant and growth of plants. Now, oxygen is helpful for us. We breathe in oxygen. Plants carry it out through their uh, food, food processing by the help of this. Uh, by the presence of carbon dioxide and oxygen, in which the oxygen gets regulated in the atmosphere because plants take in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen during the processing of food. Now, the structure of atmosphere based on the composition, temperature, and other properties, our atmosphere is divided into five layers. These are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. Each layer is of very thickness, we can say. Each layer is of very thickness. Now, troposphere. This is the lowest and the most important layer of the atmosphere. It extends to the height, extend to the height of 8 km at the poles to 18 km at the equator. This at the poles, their height will be 8 km and at the equator, height will be 18 km. All the weather related phenomena such as rainfall, hail, fog, storm, lightning, etc. All this take place in this atmosphere only. And uh, the end part of this troposphere is called tropopause. Tropopause is called upon most end of this uh, troposphere is called tropopause. And beyond this, there is the temperature stop decreasing. There is no decreasing in temperature. Next layer is a stratosphere. A stratosphere it extends to the, the height of 15 km lies above the troposphere. It contains ozone layer. A stratosphere contains ozone layer which helps to protect us from the ultraviolet radiation of the sun. Or we can say it protects us from the ultraviolet radiation of the sun. This layer is ideal for jet flying. As there is no weather related formula take place in this layer. There is no weather related once again, I am saying there is no weather related phenomena or conditions take place in this sphere, in a stratosphere which is ideal for jet flying or aeroplane flying. Now, mesosphere, above this, the third layer lies the atmosphere which is up to the height of 80, 80 km. Upper, here the temperature start decreasing with the height. As we increase in the height of the mesosphere, the temperature start decreasing and it reaches to minus 100 degrees. And if I was studied about metro and metroids in the standard 6, the metroids burns in this layer only. In this layer, metroids burns up. After this, there is another layer called thermosphere. Lying above the mesosphere, extend up to the height of more than 400 km. It, it extends to more than 400 This layer contains ions. This layer contains ion particles which are helpful in satellite transmission or we can say wireless communication. Next layer is exosphere, uppermost layer. After this layer, the atmosphere gets goes into the so-called outer space. It extends up to the 1600 km. Hydrogen and helium are the gases which float in thin layer, which float in this layer. This is the end of this session. Thank you and have a nice day.